Hey there, BJ. Come here, buddy. Come up on the bed. Come on up here. Good boy. You ready to do another review on the review bed? Good boy. What's going on, guys? Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Nulixie KM18 FM transmitter. Now, uh, basically, what this does is it allows you to take any old car, uh, as long as it has a cigarette lighter port. You just plug it in there, and then you can Bluetooth your phone to this device, and then this device will output an FM signal, which you turn your car's radio to, and you can basically play Bluetooth music through your phone, even if you have a super old car from the early 2000s or even late 90s. So um, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, and I'm going to see if it works and how well it works. So let's pop open the box here. we got a little card. It says, what does it say? It says there's a code to register 18-month warranty. That's... That's actually nice. 18 months of warranty that you can get. Looks like an instruction booklet. And then we get the device itself. And it does come with an aux cord, which is really nice because they, you know, maybe not everybody has one of these. I, I myself have quite a few, but all right. So in the packaging here, here it is. Let me just get it out of this little bag. All right, let's move the box off to the side. So here it is. It's got a bendable gooseneck structure so you can bend it and twist it to make it go where you want. But as you can see here, it's got a little display. You got, uh, let's see, let's zoom in on here. We've got channel buttons and looks like skipping and playing tracks and then a button here to pause. And it's also a dial for volume. So uh, obviously the next step is that we need to go down to the car and uh, plug this in and see how it works. All right, guys, and here we are in the car. Now, uh, I have the uh, the uh, KM plugged in right here. It goes right into the uh, cigarette lighter port uh, right down here. It also has a uh, follow. Uh, it has a USB output here. So if you had a if a if you had a phone charger plugged in, you're still going to get to keep that capability. It's got a USB port right there. Also on the side of it, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it just because I'm using this old iPhone 4. Uh, there's an SD card slot right here. You can plug in an SD card, and you can listen to music that way. And it also comes with a nice, convenient aux cord that I already talked to you guys about. But we're going to be testing the difference between the Bluetooth capability and the aux, so we can see if we can hear a difference between that. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn on the car, and I'll show you guys how to use this thing. Waiting for Perry. All right, that was pretty, pretty intense. It's like waiting for Perry. Anyways, uh, all you guys got to do when you turn on your car radio is search for a dead uh, radio station. Right now I'm on 90.7. I'm going to go ahead and turn down my volume, though, because <laughs> this is going to get loud. But basically, you're just going to want to find a dead radio station. So like, like right here. Oh, here, let me turn that way down. So you see, you hear that static? You want to find a staticky radio station. All right, so right now we're on 87.7. I was on 90, 90.7, because I think that one's better. Now, then all you got to do is you go to these channel buttons here, and as you can see, uh, it says uh, 90.6, 90.5. So basically, you change your, uh, so I'm on 90.7, right? So then I just change this to 90.7, and then this uh, will transmit uh, radio waves to 90.7. You just set your car to 90.7, and then you are good to go. So now, as you heard, it said ready for pairing. So we're going to go ahead and pair this thing up if, if the old phone will focus. Oh my goodness, I'm using my old iPhone 4, guys. Uh, but I have the uh, um, Edutige microphone plugged in, so hopefully the audio is pretty nice. Anyways, you go to your Bluetooth and you look for other devices. You can, if you can see through all that blurriness there, uh, there's the KM18. So we just select that. As you can hear that, I don't know if you heard that, it said paired. So now we're going to go and uh, turn up this a little bit, the uh, car radio. And there's also a volume dial on here. Now... I have uh, went on a drive with this and messed around with this so I could find the best settings for me. And basically what I figured out, this is definitely going to vary most likely from car to car and from probably even from phone to phone. But what I figured out is, you know, just keep your Bluetooth volume uh, maxed out. Just keep that maxed out. And for me, I have the uh, volume around 22. Because if I max it out, it seems like things get a little bit too staticky. And then I just adjust my... Uh, radio uh, volume accordingly to get the um, volume to where I want it for each song. So now I'm going to go ahead and play a song. We're going to play a few different genres here because I know a lot of people listen to lots of different music. So we're going to go, go bleh, I can't talk, sorry. <laughs> we're going to go and uh, play a few different genres. Let's see if we can hear. I'm going to turn off the air. Even though it is uh, 97 degrees outside, I'm going to turn off the air so we can hear a little bit better. I'm going to start off with some bass heavy music. Lots of people listen to bass heavy music, so we're going to go ahead and uh, play some bass heavy music here. 
And honestly, the clarity is really good on these on this uh, system. Turn down this a little bit. You can also turn up the volume on here. Now it's really, really bass heavy, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the bass down a little bit. What I noticed with this is that when, when you turn the volume down a lot, it seems like a lot of the mids and highs go down, but the bass still stays there. The bass is still really, really punchy and loud and deep, even at a low volume, so that might be a little annoying. But overall, it sounds very good, and if you want to, you can mess you can mess with all the audio settings here. So we're gonna go ahead and pause it, which you can pause it. You can pause it there. Also, this thing does have a microphone on it. Of course, you're not gonna be able to see it because this darn phone just doesn't want to focus. But uh, right around here, there's a little microphone, and you can uh, take calls on this thing as well, which is really cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and play some different genres. That was some uh, bass heavy. That was funk right there. So we're gonna go ahead and play some DJ quads. Good old DJ quads. So listen to some of that. And there's intentional static in the song for a, it's meant to be kind of like 1930s aesthetic, but uh, there are a lot more instruments in here. I'll turn the bass down a little bit just so we can hear the highs better. Oh, it didn't work that time. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. So uh, as you guys can hear, I think the, the highs and the mids sound really good. Now, if I was comparing it to um, <laughs> what I used to use, which are these, uh, you know, everybody's heard of these, these little cassette players that turn into an aux cord. And now, uh, this sounds better. I'm not going to lie. These sound better. The main downside of this is that I've gone through about three of them in the last six months because especially in the summer heat, the, the heat just really messes with the connections on the wire. So when I try and plug this thing in, I, it, I have to fiddle around with the aux connection and mess it around and bend it and everything. Also, here's what my cassette player in my car sounds like. Listen to this. It does that. <laughs> now, um, so that's going to be a trade-off that I think is worth it because this does not make any crazy noises. It may not sound as clear or crisp, but uh, it definitely sounds good. But that is through Bluetooth connection. So let's go ahead and try wired connection. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my phone from Bluetooth real quick. This is waiting for pairing, but uh, we are going to go ahead and just plug in the aux cord. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, now we have the aux plugged in. Let's see how this sounds. That sounds worlds better to my ears. I know it may not be audible because I'm using uh, my phone. Even though the microphone on here is a pretty good old uh, microphone for a mobile recording, I still don't think it's going to be able to pick up nearly as good audio quality that I'm hearing. Um, the wired connection sounds a lot better. Now, it may not be as convenient, but if you're looking for audio quality and that's all you care about and you have uh, car speakers that can really make that difference, then... Um, I would recommend keeping it plugged in. I'm probably going to keep it on Bluetooth just because it's convenient and this is a pretty short aux cord. But uh, the aux cord does sound a little clear. I'm going to go ahead and play a song that we were just listening to. Oh yeah, that sounds so much better to my ears. Now. You are going to lose out on the capabilities like being able to pause and skip tracks and all that. Uh, if you're not, if you're using just the wired connection, you're not going to be able to pause with this or skip tracks or answer phone calls. So that's another thing you have to keep in mind. Now, um, another thing is that you, may, you know most people using one of these things probably have a pretty darn old car, and lots of old cars don't really have good speaker systems unless you've upgraded them. But um, my car is a 2001 Toyota Solara. 
Um, back back in 17 years ago, that was considered a sporty car, but uh, right now it's got 220,000 miles on it, a check engine light, and lots of problems with it. But uh, uh, one of the advertised things back in 2001 was that it had an upgraded speaker system. It's got tweeters up there and main down there, and then you know has little has, has a really nice a nice stereo system for how old it is. Uh, hasn't been upgraded or anything. But uh, it, it sounds really good for an old car. It's probably not up to date if with something like, you know, a 2018 Camry. But for how old this car is, it has a really nice stereo system. And uh, I can hear the difference between a wired connection and the uh, Bluetooth connection. But overall, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep it on Bluetooth just because it's more convenient to use. And um, I think that would be a lot easier for me. Anyways, guys, that was it for this video. Hopefully this helped you guys out in your purchasing decision. This thing is only uh, $17, so I really think it's you know worth it to just get this thing to replace those uh, cassette aux players, especially if they're just going like every few months for you. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please be sure to leave a like. If you liked it a lot, subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.